Nail biters. <laughs> if you have a customer that's a nail biter, how do you deal? How do, do you deal? deal? By the way, we're filming, this is our Twitch room. If you haven't seen us on Twitch, we are on Twitch uh, three days a week. I think it's gonna be streaming here on YouTube as well now, but you can always check that out. But it's a cool room, I like this room. We've talked a lot about nail biters, but how do you deal with them on a like a one-to-one -one level in terms of like trying to get them not to bite their nails? Let's talk about that first. But then ultimately dealing with them as customers with their nail beds, what do you do? How do you actually deal with this? This could be like a major problem if you've got a few clients that are like this. So I want to get your take on this topic. I've been trying to get you to stop for 16 years. How's so that worked out? Not well. Exactly. But you bite the skin. I, which is it's pretty disgusting, yeah, actually. Yeah, you gotta stop I think that. about it. I know. You've gotten better. But as far as nails uh, on a client, typically once they get nails, it's funny, they kind of stop. So interesting. Yeah, that's why a lot of nail biters will go get nails because it'll prevent them from biting. Now you got the ones that are just determined to continue to bite. And um, what I did with them is if you broke the nails because you bit them, you might get off once, but after that, I'm charging you per nail to repair. Okay, so you actually have a financial penalty and what do you charge if they do continue to do it to repair them and that you know that they chewed it off? What do you charge for that repair? Back in the day when I was charging like $50 for the set, it was $5 per nail. Now it would have to make sense. So yeah. I'd have to increase it in full sets 90. So it would be break it up by 10. That's what I'm gonna charge per nail. Okay, but how do you know for certain if I'm sure nail techs deal with this, like the client's like, I did not, it just broke. I did not break the nail by biting it, Tracy. Stop blaming me. First of all, your teeth marks are literally <laughs> in the stuff. Plus you can tell because of price. When you're biting, you pry it. And you can tell by the natural nail bed that the nail's been pried at. And so you can tell. You're well, not gonna get away with it. You're not gonna you're not gonna tell us it just fell off. It's not gonna happen. Will you like literally though, you'll actually see teeth marks? Is that is that Well you can tell. Okay. I don't not an actual teeth mark, but the way it's broken, you can tell. And here's the funny thing is, girls would come in with their boyfriend and they're like, I'm not biting them. And they're like, you bite them all the time. Like, oh, oh rat him out. So the boyfriend would rat out the girlfriend biting her nails off. Okay, so I like, I like how you actually deal with them with a financial penalty, um, cause that will, well, it should get somebody to stop. I'm assuming if they just don't stop, you just keep charging them. Does that kind of happen or they eventually stop? Usually if there's financial they stop. penalties, they're gonna stop. Okay. And you know what, I don't, I don't want to redo your nails every two weeks. Yeah, it's not man. good for your nails, first of all. Um, for not not the removal, not me removing it, but you removing it by, bite, by biting is not good for it. So I might just end up getting rid of you. What about when you do have to work on the nail biter, what are some things that you kind of go through? What do you have to do different? Because the nails are chowed, they're shorter. You have to, I know you have to customize forms, but kind of walk us through what you have to do differently when working on nail biters. So correct, we have to customize, so it's a, it's more work. Also, what a lot of people don't understand when they come into you and they've bitten their nails is, I can't make them look like your Aunt Sally that's a nail model, nails at first. It's a process. I'm gonna do them short because you don't have enough nail bed to hold a long nail. You did that, I did not do that. That's the, that's the funny thing is they go, well, this is the way I want them. I, I did not do this. You bit your own nails, right. you created this. It's kind of like a, a, a process, a prescription that we are giving you that this is what we're gonna have to do until your nails start to grow out and they start looking normal again. Sometimes if they've done it for years, I can't fix that you've widened your nail bed wow. and that you've lost your nail grooves. Yeah. Uh, we can kind of help it, but I can't fix that. You know, what's? I always forget that it takes, it's gonna take like a lot of time before you can get their nails to look normal, mm -hmm. right? So it, it takes weeks and weeks, which makes sense. Like, why would you want, if somebody continues to chew their nails, like that's just not gonna work out, right? right. When you work on the nail biter, Tracy, how, how many weeks does it actually take for it to get to where they can start wearing stilettos? For example, if that's what they want. Your nails grow like one eighth of an inch per month. Okay. So you realistically. Need, you, you, realistic, it's gonna be a while. I always recommend that you have 51% nail bed 
and 49% length. Mm. That ratio will keep your nails on and keep you from breaking. Now, some people will come in and go, but that's what I want. Sure, let's try it. Maybe, maybe you'll be fine. More than likely, the ratio is gonna be off and you're gonna break it. If it does break, I'm not doing it again. Right. Because I guarantee my work. So I, I don't want you breaking your nails. Um, now, some people, eh, they do, you do it and it works, it's fine, yeah. but um, it's rare. Usually you wanna keep that ratio right just because it's better for the nail bed too. You're not having all this weight, weight on the front end yeah. pulling out that nail. So the truth about nail biting is that like if you walk into a salon and you have chowed digits, you just can't expect the nail tech to work some like magic on you in that instance. It's gonna take time, like Tracy said, and you have to consider the length of your natural nail. Um, if, if you decide to go super long, but you have short nail beds, they're probably gonna break. These are all things that you have to consider. But ultimately with nail biting is, I think that's the, the thing is like, my nails are chowed and they look gnarly. Fix them now is like what you're gonna get and that's just not reality, correct? It's like uh, going to a hairdresser with a box of black dye on your hair and expecting to make you platinum blonde that day. It's not, <laughs> it's not happening. It's not gonna happen. Stop biting your nails. If you want beautiful stilettos, you gotta stop biting your freaking nails and you can't continue to do it on a regular basis. Your nail tech's gonna know. She's gonna find you out. She's gonna come down. She's gonna hunt. She's gonna take you out. Stop biting your nails. Hey guys, we hope you love our nail videos. Comment below and let us know what you wanna see next. To see more, go right over here. To subscribe to our channel, head right over here.